G'day everybody, welcome to another video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing some videos on the very basics and the way I do things. Um, the mixing of my resins, the mixing of my pastes and fillers, cabosil, powder, Q-cell, all the different bits and pieces that I'm using in this project. We're going to have a look at the thermalite again, we're going to have a look at a lot of different things. Really drill down into the basics. So this will be the very first one and I'm going to keep them very, very short. So this is the very first one. What I'm going to be doing is I need some filler. So I'm going to use talc, I'm going to use talc, I'm going to use my vinyl ester resin, and I'm just going to uh, basically go through and fill some little holes and everything in my uh, filleting, where I've had to do my radiuses, and to clean it all up, and get it ready for a layer of glass over the top inside the transom. Alrighty, so here we go. So what I've got is I've tried to get prepared. I've got a nice clean bucket there, I've got my stirrer, got my vinyl ester resin sitting there ready to go. I've got my MEKP dispenser and once again I've marked my MEKP dispenser so that I can see where it is. Um, I've got 2mm, 4mm, 6mm marks on there so that I can um, see it because you can't see the numbers on these little, what do you call them, spouts. Um, and it just makes it very very difficult so that makes it really simple for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up about 100 grams. I hope that's going to be alright. The sun's been on this so the the, um, the display is starting to go off. It's an LCD, LCD, yeah, LCD display. But anyway, I'm only going to make up, like I said, about 100 grams. So first thing that I'm going to do is zero out this. Oh, she's nasty. Zero it out. There we go. No, so undo the cap a little bit and I'm just going to get my, let's zero it again, there we go, 100 grams, so I only need a tiny little bit, I don't want to overdo it, can't see it there, there we are, alright, now I'm not wearing my mask today, I've just gone looking for my mask and I can't find it, I don't know what I've done with it, but there we go, I've gone over a little bit, about 120 Okay, so one of the things that I do always is get my MEKP. There's a bit much there. I'm going to mix it at 2% today. And the reason that I've chosen to do that is because it's cold. Now, the correct measurement for my MEKP as it shows on the can here is 1.5 to 2 percent so i'm going to do it at 2 percent today and that's as high as i normally go there we go oh two percent just a bit more than two because i put about 20 grams too much in there and that's all i need all right so that's two percent doesn't look like much does it Now I'm just going to mix that in, I'm making sure that I get the sides, scrape along the bottom, very important to get all that MEKP all the way through, and there we go, once that out of there now, I might just put the, uh, even though it's not a vapour mask, I'm going to put this on anyway, I'll have to find, have to find my vapour mask later. There we go, getting the bottoms, the sides, get that MEKP all the way through. And I, I typically like to do this before I add any fillers to make sure that the MEKP is thoroughly mixed through the resin itself and there's no areas, likely to be no areas, where the MEKP is not touching. quite a thick mix 
to make sure that it doesn't sag and run down the, the transom where I'm filling it. Just mix it in. I have to find that other mask. I normally try and put it into a spot where I know where to look for it. See that powder flying around? A lot of wind around here today. It's supposed to be blowing about 25 to 30 knots. Mix, mix, mix. Keep adding. That's all I'm really going to have. So my application tools here. I've got um, tongue depressors. Tongue depressors. I've got spoons. Timber spoons. And I've got PVC. Little bits of uh, container cut up so I can wrap it around my finger basically wrap around the finger like that and get my curves I'll do another video about that later do, do it all separately trying to break it down so it's really simple all right. so this should give me uh, you know well the, the 10 says 45 minutes at 2% um, Definitely not going to need 45 minutes to do this. Keep going. That should be about getting pretty close. The other thing that I do sometimes, guys, too, is I use a paintbrush. So um, I'll have a little bucket of little bucket little jar whatever of acetone sitting there and if I want to get really nice finish or a nice curve really nice curve and I don't want any lumpy bits or anything I'll uh, dip this in a tiny little bit of acetone and give it a bit of a wipe um, it will slow down the curing process it takes it longer to cure but it, it just cleans the job up it's good for clean up basically Getting there, we're getting there, nice and thick. Now, if I want, yeah, if I wanted to, I could add some cabazil in there if I don't have enough powder, because I'm right at the end. I didn't go and buy all my gear because I work for a living, you know. I didn't go and buy everything I needed. I sort of left it to the last minute. I don't normally do that, but I did. Wasn't sure whether I was going to be down here. To be honest with you, that's still too thin. See that? That's still too thin. That's going to run down the walls any vertical surface it'll run down the vertical surface I'm just about out of powder there talc if I run out of talc I will add some cover cell some people call this peanut butter other people call it bog other people might call it filler um, but whichever one you prefer go for it yeah we're getting there I need every bit of that powder, I think. I can't even smell that resin. There's so much breeze around here. Hope that microphone works properly. There we go. That should get me what I want. Yep. There we go. Nice and thick now. See that? No, oh, getting really thick. That'll be the last of it, I think. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Like again, so the whole idea is to make sure that we uh, have got thick enough so it's not going to run down any vertical surfaces that we're trying to get our fillets on. And it's easy to, easy to work. Getting that in there. pretty good and you can see the consistency of that peanut butter or bog whatever you want to call it there we go 
might just go tinsy. Yeah, there's not much left in there. Bang. In it goes. No, po no point in keeping that little bit, eh? Just get it where we want. Ugh. There we go, get it all the way through. Fingies get sore. Yes. Tough enough, princess. Need some concrete. Yeah. Get it all off the sides. I don't want any dry powder in there because that'll make it weak. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Like I didn't make any more or add any more resin because it would have been too much resin. So that's it.